Welcome to Folkler Library's Women in Science Display, University of Maine and Beyond. Here are some women in science from the University of Maine. Catherine E. Brewa was a foods and nutrition specialist for the University of Maine Extension Service from 1941 until her retirement in 1960. She received a National Superior Service Award from the United States Department of Agriculture in 1960 for her work in promoting better nutrition, strengthening school lunch programs, training volunteer groups for wartime and emergency meal planning, and for pioneering work in group weight control. Catherine's key accomplishments include receiving the Farm and Homework Ribbon in 1955, a Certificate of Appreciation from the Maine Civil Defense and Public Safety in 1957, the Superior Service Award from the United States Department of Agriculture in 1960. In addition, she compiled a Maine Department of Agriculture and Maine Agricultural Extension Service publication titled Maine Potato Recipes. Catherine Musgrave started at the University of Maine in 1969 as an instructor and assistant professor in food and nutrition before earning a professorship in 1979. Professor Musgrave was an advocate of wise food selection and the promotion of wellness. Throughout her career at the university, she wrote numerous papers and articles on the subject, as well as nutrition guides. In 1986, Musgrave retired from the University of Maine, but remained active in the field of nutrition as a professor emerita. Catherine Musgrave's key accomplishments include Outstanding Women of Northern and Eastern Maine in 1983, the American Home Economic Association Leader Award in 1989, Award for Excellence in Community Dietetics in 1991, Outstanding Continuing Education Faculty Member in the New England Region in 2002. She was elected into the Maine Women's Hall of Fame in 2011, and she received the Medallion Award from the American Dietetic Association also in 2011. Edith Patch earned a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Minnesota in 1901. In 1903, Charles Woods of the Maine Agricultural Experiment Station invited her to organize the Department of Entomology at University of Maine. She was offered no salary, but Charles Woods arranged for her to teach English for a living wage. Within a year, she had established the department and earned a salaried position. Patch earned a master's degree at the University of Maine in 1910 and a doctorate from Cornell University in 1911. She was elected the first woman president of the Entomological Society of America in 1930. Edith's key accomplishments include being elected first woman president of the Entomological Society of America in 1930, she wrote 15 books and 78 major articles. One of her books, Food Plant Catalog of the Aphids of the World, is regarded as one of the most outstanding scientific contributions made by an Orono resident. She was elected president of the American Nature Study Society in 1930. She was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Maine in 1937. And she was a world authority on aphids, had two genera, five species, and one subspecies named in her honor. Vera Warner Williams was born in Bangor in 1913. She was the second black person enrolled at the University of Maine. In 1935, she was the first black person to earn a bachelor's degree with honors in mathematics at the University of Maine. She earned her master's degree in mathematics from the University of Maine in 1940. She was appointed the first female academic dean at Morgan State University for the Center of Continuing Education in 1970. Some of Beryl's key accomplishments include becoming head of Morgan State University's Office of the Evening and Summer Sessions in 1963, becoming dean of Morgan State University's Center for Continuing Education in 1971. She was the vice president of the Baltimore School Board from 1974 to 1984. The Dr. Beryl W. Williams Scholarship at Morgan State University was established in 1981. The University of Maine Alumni Association's Alumni Career Award in 1995. And in 2021, the University of Maine System Board of Trustees renamed Little Hall to Beryl Warner Williams Hall. Women in Science Beyond the University of Maine. Here are two women who've both won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Two UU who won it in 2015 for her discoveries concerning a novel therapy against malaria and Barbara McClintock, who won in 1983 for her discovery of mobile genetic elements. These women you might know from the movie Hidden Figures. They were NASA's human computers, Katherine Johnson, Mary W. Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn. Some historical women in science. Hypatia, who was a Greek astronomer, mathematician, and philosopher. 
Laura Bassey, who was the first woman to have a doctorate in science, and Ada Lovelace, an English mathematician and computer programmer. For more information about women in science at the University of Maine and beyond, please go to our guide at bit.ly slash s-c-i-f-e-m. Thank you. Please let us know what you think about this presentation. Meet your librarians, Christopher Clark, Heather Perrone, Lindsay Decker, and Nancy Lewis.